Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is a jumbo-sized KO version of Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime. And I have to give a huge shout out to channel member Jason Wade Cox for sending me this guy. Jason, thank you so much. So now, how jumbo is this KO Optimus Prime? Well, there's the KO and there's the original Core Class Optimus Prime. So yeah, just a little jumbo. And for another size comparison, here he is with Earthrise Optimus Prime. Check that out. That is a big boy. So taking a closer look at vehicle mode, the truck mode is pretty spot on to the core class version. Aside from the paint applications here on the front, the way the silver is painted on the KO looks a little weird, but still it's decent enough. I'm sure I could take a Molotov chrome pen and kind of fill in all the spaces there. Really good paint on the windows. Got some black here, blue there, silver there on the back, which of course is the legs. I like the wheels. The wheels look really good. They're just not clipped on. Now the plastic quality on this, this feels like just a little step above the figures you would find at a Dollar General. So not bad. I mean, it's decent enough. Lots of hollowness right there, but you know, you can't see that in vehicle mode. So all in all, not bad. I'm really impressed with the size of this guy. Now he also came with a weapon. And yes, you're seeing that right. That is an oversized version of a Seeker Null Ray. Actually, that's the Earthrise Seeker Null Ray. So why they gave that to Prime, I have no idea, but you've got weapon storage right there on the back kinda it really doesn't plug in good there and i guess like that but still that can just stay off to the side so now let's go ahead and get this guy transformed and he pretty much transforms exactly like the core class figure go ahead and bring the legs down they're pegged in right here to the arms and flare the arms out slightly that way you can bring this section here out. So you're going to bring that out. There's two little tabs right there that are going to fit into the little slots right there. So once that's slot, slotted in, go ahead and rotate this whole upper section. Separate the legs. I'm going to have to bring the camera up. We'll go ahead and rotate the arms around. Just like so, flip these fists out very rapidly. And now we'll get the head out. And what I like here is the flap that covers the head. Unlike the core class version that doesn't peg in whatsoever, this is actually on there really secure. Gotta get your fingernails in and pop that out. There's a nice big tab there. Bring this down and around and it actually has a little square slot that's going to peg right there. So lock that into place and get Prime's head out. 
And there you go. There is Jumbo KO Core Class Prime in robot mode. And really, he doesn't look bad at all. I really dig this figure. Like I said, lots of hollowness there on the back, but the front looks great. Paint applications look great. The head sculpt looks great. I love this guy. He is so cool. Now articulation for this Prime is pretty much the exact same as the core class. The arms can do a complete 360. Since they're on a ball joint here, they can rotate side to side at the elbow. No wrist rotation. There is no waist rotation, but we have an ab crunch. The head can actually do a complete 360. Legs forward, whoops, forward, back. There is a knee bend and knee rotation. And that is about it. Let's go ahead and snap that waist back in place. Now, I do wish he had some painted eyes. He's kind of got that dead eye look, no personality whatsoever. And for some odd reason, if the light can catch it, he has a G on his forehead. So if anybody asks, Yes, I found, you know, the G thing. So let's bring in his weapon, his giant null ray. You can put that in his hand like so. So there you have Prime all armed and ready for battle. But you know, that just doesn't look right. So a couple years ago, I got this giant, whoops, giant Optimus Prime rifle from the Centurion drone spoiler pack that is way too big for Earthrise or Siege, but I want to see what it looks like in the hands of this guy here. That's a tight fit. All right, come on, get in there. Please work for me. So yeah, there you go, and that looks so much better. I dig that. That looks sweet. All this Prime really needs now is some Toy Hacks Autobot decals. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the KO Jumbo Core Class Optimus Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, the original Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. The KO Core Class Jumbo Optimus Prime is a pretty cool Optimus Prime figure. I like the looks of this guy. I like the transformation. I think he's gonna look great on my shelf. And as you can see, the Autobot decal really, really helps along with having a proper prime weapon. Still don't understand why they gave him a Null Ray, but it is what it is. Once again, Jason Wade Cox, thank you so much for this guy. Now, viewers, I have no idea where Jason got this. I'm pretty sure probably AliExpress. So if you want one for yourself, it may be worth a Google. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!